today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional. I'm Kirsten Holmberg, and I titled our reading, The Wonder of Creation. While Tim was hiking on Root Glacier in Alaska, he came across something he'd not seen before. Though Tim studies glaciers professionally, the vast number of small balls of moss were completely unfamiliar to him. After tracking the bright green balls for many years, Tim and his colleagues discovered that, unlike moss on trees, the so-called glacier mice are unattached and, even more surprisingly, move in unison like a herd or flock. At first, Tim and his colleagues suspected they were blown by the wind or were rolling downhill, but their research ruled out those guesses. They haven't yet discovered exactly how the moss balls move. Such mysteries highlight God's creativity. In his work of creation, God appointed the land to produce vegetation in the form of plants and trees. His design included glacier mice too, though most of us won't see them firsthand unless we visit a glacier that provides a suitable environment for them. Glacier mice have been charming scientists with their fuzzy green presence since their discovery in the 1950s. When God observed the vegetation he created, he declared that it was good. We're surrounded by God's botanical designs, each demonstrating his creative powers and inviting us to worship him. We can delight in each of the trees and plants he's made, for they are good. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Genesis chapter 1, verses 9 through 13. And God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered to one place, and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground 